In the beginning, everything God created was good. When God created human beings, the Bible says in Genesis 1 verse 28, He blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. So, it is God's desire and will to see that we bear fruits. Prepare your mind as the man of God, Prophet A. Boris, makes declarations of fruitfulness into your destinies. Grace to you all in Jesus Christ's name. Viewers, today is a day dedicated to pray for you for fruitfulness. Are you barren in life? Are you barren in education? Are you barren in your marriage? Get ready to receive your prayers. God has never created the spirit of barrenness. Neither has he ever created any spirit that does not glorify his name. This is time. Get ready. For when God speaks, it's time to act. Get ready for your prayers. It is time for you to be fruitful in any area of your life. Wherever you have been facing barrenness, listen to me, viewers at home. Barrenness is not a spirit created by God but can be destroyed by God. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 8, verse 1, it says, When Jesus came down from the hill, large crowds followed him. Then a man suffering from a dreaded skin disease came to him, knelt down before him, and said, Sir, if you want to, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I do want to, he answered. Be clean. At once, the man was clean of his disease. Viewers at home, whatever challenge you are going through, yes, it's a challenge. But if God speaks a word, the instant he speaks it, and the instant you believe, you get it. It is time for your fruitfulness. You are barren, and barrenness is not created by God. I don't know the area which you are barren. It could be your finance. It could be your marriage. You cannot bear a child. Viewers, stretch your hands towards me. I am praying for you. Under these palms, in the midst of these palms, is not a prayer that an ordinary man can offer. To pray under a palm or in the midst of palms is not a prayer an ordinary man can offer. Viewers at home, I am in the midst of palms, under a palm, Watch out for this prayer. Your time has come. The time for your fruitfulness has come. Before I pray this prayer, I'm going to anoint my mouth and pray with you. Viewers at home, this is anointing oil. I've anointed my mouth, viewers, three times. I'm in the midst of palms, and I am under a palm tree. Stretch your hands towards me, viewers, at home. In any area you face barrenness, in any area you are facing barrenness, I command that storm to go away in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke barrenness in the name of Jesus. I rebuke barrenness in the name of Jesus. I rebuke barrenness, viewers at home. I rebuke barrenness out of your life, out of your marriage, out of your destiny. I rebuke barrenness. I rebuke barrenness. I rebuke barrenness. I rebuke barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers at home, I am in the midst of palms, under a palm with anointing oil in my mouth. Take note. All of you hearing my voice, all of you under the sound of my voice, under the influence of this ministration, watch out. Your fruitfulness is just closer to you. Receive fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. In your business, in your career, in your marriage, 
receive fruitfulness. Barren wombs rise again and conceive. All the barren wombs, wombs that cannot carry children, rise again and conceive. 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 The Lord says conceive. The Lord says conceive. The Lord says conceive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Viewers at home, I stretch my right hand. I stretch my hand. Jesus stretched his hand and the man was healed. I stretch my hand right now. Jesus stretched his hand in Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 to 3. And the man with a skin disease was healed. He spoke it. He stretched his hand. I speak now. I stretch my hand. Be fruitful. Any area in your life, be fruitful. In all the areas in your life, be fruitful in the name of Jesus. You know, at times, many of us get stuck with our destinies. We don't know the way out, the way forward. Well, I pray with you. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Begin to realize who you are. Begin to acknowledge God for who you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a light in front of you that will help you to see clear, to see your destiny. Let there be a light, a light, a light, a light, a light in the name of Jesus. Many of us, we are, we are stalked. We don't know what is ahead of us, what we need to do ahead, what we need to do in future. We are just confused. You don't even know who you are. Any person that is under this oppression of Satan, I command, let there be a light in front of you to see clearly who you are supposed to be. Let there be a light in the name of Jesus. Let there be a light in the name of Jesus. And all the wombs that have been burdened for years, all the wombs that have been burdened for years, a lot of marriages are destroyed because there is no fruitfulness. A lot of homes are broken because there is no fruitfulness. A lot of crying today in marriages because there is no fruitfulness. A lot of weeping today in marriages because there is no fruitfulness. Viewers at home, I, Prophet A. Boris, in the midst of these palms and under this palm, as far as this palm, this palm can bear fruit. As far as this palm created by God can bear fruit. Nobody will stop you from bearing your own children. I command your womb to conceive. Conceive your twin. Conceive twin. Conceive children. Conceive children. I open your womb. I unblock your womb. Viewers at home, I unblock your womb. Go and conceive. 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 I touch my stomach. I touch all your wombs. As I touch my stomach, I touch all your wombs. Be open, be open in the name of Jesus. I say again, as this palm, these palms you are saying cannot be stopped from bearing their fruits. Nobody will stop you from bearing your own children. Nobody will stop your life. Nobody will stop your destiny. Nobody in the name of Jesus. That demon I cast out. That spirit I cast out. That marine spirit holding your womb from bearing children. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Let your womb conceive. With my voice in the midst of these palms, let your womb conceive. Let your womb conceive. Let your womb conceive in the name of Jesus. As my voice is lifted up in the midst of these palms, And these palms can bear me witness that they can bear their own fruits. They were created by God, not even in his image, but they can bear fruit. What about you that was created in his image and likeness? I command you to bear your children. 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 children. Conceive your own children in the name of Jesus. Let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so. Your womb is blessed. Your womb is blessed. Your womb is blessed. Your womb is blessed. And any area in your life which you experience barrenness, which you experience barrenness, is blessed forever. Is blessed forever. Is blessed forever. 
your business is blessed. Your academics are blessed. Everything that has to do with you, I bless it. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Watch out for this prayer under the palm, in the midst of palms. Watch out for this prayer. You will testify for fruitfulness has come in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Rebecca.